Hey guys, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I felt like this set of videos needed a disclaimer out front because this Pal World game has uh, picked up some controversies. I was aware of them before I, uh, you know, filmed these videos, but I had done some research into it myself, and what I found was people accusing Pal World of copyright infringement, claiming that they uh, straight up stole designs from Pokémon to create their pals. And, uh, well, when I looked into it, I looked at a whole bunch of comparison images, I looked into people talking about it, I looked at all this stuff, and, you know, I won't deny that some of them are very obviously visually inspired by, uh, specific Pokémon. You know, that is in there sometimes, but... Even those cases, even the most extreme ones I saw, nothing looked actionable, because even those models had been heavily modified from their original design. You look at it, and you think, oh, this looks a lot like so-and-so, but it very clearly isn't so-and-so. So, honestly, uh, I came to the conclusion that it was just a bunch of uh, disgruntled Pokémon fans feeling threatened by a new IP, and made the videos. And then, less than an hour after I finished recording on Wednesday, out breaks the news story that uh, apparently Nintendo uh, at least disagrees with my assessment and wants to make their own because they have announced they're launching an investigation into this game. You know, they haven't actually launched a lawsuit or anything yet, but apparently they are having their lawyers go over Pal World with a fine tooth comb looking for anything they can, uh, well, stick them to the wall with. Uh, I don't know how that's going to turn out. Maybe nothing will happen, and it was all just bluster. Uh, maybe it will lead to this game catastrophically disappearing. Uh, or maybe it could be anything in between. Either way, I thought felt like it should at least be mentioned here, and that that hadn't happened at the time of recording, and I'm not just blithely ignoring it. I mean, I thought that, uh, this game qualified as a parody, which meant they could basically do whatever they wanted with the, uh, the designs. But, uh, hey, what do I know about American law? Uh, the point is, uh, those controversies are out there, I have acknowledged them, and I still think I had a pretty good time with this game, and hope it doesn't turn out to have been, uh, shady. So, uh, with that, I think I'll pass the mic over to my past self and get these videos on the road. Ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between, I'm Burning Dog Face, and this is Pal World. This game technically hasn't actually been released yet, but it was sent out into early access last week. As it warns here in the corner, you may encounter bugs or crashes. So hey, heads up. Work in progress. Um, yes, uh, this is a third-person survival crafting game where you go out and gather resources to build stuff to help you make a base and gather more complicated resources and train the local wildlife to uh, help you in your endeavors. It just so happens that the local wildlife are all off-brand Pokémon. It's very interesting to me to see someone do a game, sort of a parody of the Pokémon concept, without actually doing the Pokémon gameplay. Although you probably guessed that from the, uh... Well, the yellow Totoro-looking dude on the right there with a minigun in his arms. Or possibly from these, uh, sheep in the background on the machine gun turrets behind sandbags. Oh, lord. This game seems... Totally insane, and honestly, everything I've ever seen of it makes it look crazier. So, uh, I thought I'd just jump in and, uh, see what happens, and there's no real plan for this. Palpagos Islands, yes, sure. I don't have a cleverer name than that. No multiplayer, difficulty normal. That sounds good. Standard game balance. Upon death, all equipment and material items are dropped on the spot. Thought this would be a nice way to ease back into making videos. 
Okay, yes. Character customization. This didn't take long and I was in testing. Let's see. I think I... No, it was this guy with the mushroom hair. Face. Was it this one? So, yeah, that was a sort of Will Riker beard. I think it was this one. <laughs> Stern ass face, too. Eyes green, of course. It's a very vibrant green. I do like these alternate uh, eyes. Just the tiny ass pupils or really big pupils. Inverted eyes for monster characters, as you do. Hypnosis eyes, I guess. I kind of like the cat's eye pupils. I think I'm just going to go with these. Hair. Oh, something messy, I think. That's nice and windswept. Let's go with that. When I was in testing, there was a particular noise that Voice 6 made that made me laugh out loud. Yeah. What? Huh? Uh -huh. There we go! <laughs> Oh, God, the cliched anime noise of confusion that I've only ever seen appear when a character has uh, become extremely confused. It's that noise. Uh? Just a moment. Sorry about that. Uh, yes, you cannot edit your character again after the game has started. Note, a character re-edit feature is planned for a future update. So let's leave it on voice six. And throw ourselves into the game. are the key. The tree holds the truth. So all I own in the entire world is a malfunctioning tablet, a pair of sandals, and a loincloth. Oh, and the thing on my back, yeah. Some kind of bundle. Pick up fallen tree branches or hit trees to get some wood. Open the menu with start and go to the options tab and check survival guide. That seems easier than the other two. Open the build menu with up on the d-pad, select primitive workbench, and set the build location. Options, survival guide. Quest complete! Oh, hey, what should I do first? First, pick up fallen branches and pebbles to gather wood and stone. You can also gather wood and stone by punching big trees and rocks with your bare hands. That sounds like a bad idea to me. <laughs> oh, Minecraft, what have you done to us? Build a workbench and craft an axe and a pickaxe to gather resources more efficiently. Once you've gathered enough materials, choose a location for your base and build a PAL box. Once you place a PAL box, that area becomes your base. As your level increases, make weapons in a PAL sphere, then start capturing wild PALs by weakening them first. PALs can be combat allies if taken with you, or provide labor if placed in your base. Nighttime can be dangerous. Prepare for your first night by making a campfire, a torch, and a bed. Pals. Pals are enigmatic creatures that inhabit this region. By capturing one of the sphere, you can make it your companions. That's a typo. Uh, your pals can be released from the sphere, the sphere by pressing left bumper. You can only carry up to five pals at a time. If you capture more, they'll automatically be sent to the pal box. You can retrieve them by building a pal box if you don't have one. Okay. Ooh. Wasn't I on the beach a second ago? Great, I don't have enough stuff for the uh, the workbench. At least it's not flashing down in the corner. Well, rather than throwing myself off a cliff, I'm going to go in the direction I was facing when I spawned, because that indicates that uh, they want me to go that way. Hey, there we go, windswept hills. Promising. First, we'll look at the giant glowy bird. Lots of 
fast travel statue. Ooh, pretty. It says press X to wood, but I don't see any item on the ground there. Maybe I imagined it. Oh, hey. What's up? Lamball. That's a good name for it. Man, I can't pet the random animal. It's probably for the best, but... A castaway? Been a while since someone who didn't stink of pals washed up here. Is that rude or not? This island is a living hell. The people I came with aren't with us any longer. Those damned pals ate every one of them? You be careful out there. Here, take some basic supplies. You need to toughen up if you want to survive out there. Sorry, there's something really surreal about the fact that she's holding a shotgun. As opposed to, like, a sword or something. Kativa and Chickapee. Those are good names. Hmm. I mean, that's just a cartoon chicken, is all that is. But that's okay. Meowth is just a cat with a coin in its head. They seem pretty chill. They don't appear to be trying to eat me yet, anyway. Oh, open the technology screen from the menu and unlock Pal Sphere. Rock! What the hell did you make those out of? That's the map, the Plateau of Beginnings. That seems like a good name for it. Wood, material for structures and items, can be obtained by cutting trees. Stone, material for structures and items, can be obtained by mining rocks. My goodness, the loin cloth is an isn't an item. What am I meant to be doing on the technology screen? Unlock Pal Sphere. Let's see, there is Pal Sphere. I need uh, more stone and more Paldium fragments. Hmm. Okay, fair. Okay, stone axe, harvest... Whoa, yes, yes! The sword is for murder, isn't it? The, the axe is for cutting trees, even though it's clearly a war axe in shape. I'm just saying. Wooden club can beat a small pal to a pulp if need be. That's, uh, that's really bad. Oh, good! Clothing! Cloth outfit. Oh shit, yeah. There's a day-night cycle, and there's a food meter, so I should get on the move. I leveled up by picking up that wood. This rocket is painted on. Hmm. Press start to open the inventory, and use status points to strengthen your character. Uh, oh. Right stick? Oh my god. Uh, more hit points. Sure. Got 100 HP out of that. Make sure you want to unlock Powell Sphere. Apparently it's a good idea, so... I mean, I can't make any. I still need to do that thing. Oops. Where do I get technology points from, anyway? Facility for storing captured pals. Pals inside gradually recover HP. The Bay Area and the structure will become your base. That's clearly a computer. 
It's like not even just a computer. It's a futuristic, like, hologram screen terminal. The kind you always see in sci-fi. Person think having a transparent monitor would get distracting after a while, but whatever. Attack pals do. Whoa! Oh, it's just this plant. That's good. So I need to. Hey! They're just lying around. Paldium fragment. That was really convenient. Crystallized energy from the world tree, capable of creating supernatural items and structures. Oh god, farming. Get myself some berries over here. Get some stone. Oh, I should actually, you know, build some of those. Oh, right, the workbench. Okay, uh, where do I want to set up? Maybe over there in that sandy bit. What's up, kitty? I'm not gonna walk close to that one, because cats don't like it when you get up in their business. Well, it's kind of a cat-squirrel thing. Hey, what's up? Uh -huh. Oh, no, that one did actually run away. I guess that doesn't make sense to react differently. I will expect some of these guys to try to murder me at some point. I mean, maybe not the sheep and the chickens, but you know. That was a lot further than I felt. Oh, and I took some damage. Oh, my food meter is draining. Uh, let's eat some berries. Hey, that's not bad. What the fuck is this? Oh, let's go. Oh, I'm betting that's Paldium. I need to get a pickaxe to do that. I'm just gonna go over here. Nice view. The water waterfall sounds will make it easier to sleep at night. Yeah, okay. The chicken approves. Slap this down over here. Uh, which button is that? Oh, X to build, not A. <laughs> Move near the planned build location from the workbench and hold X to build the structure. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> okay, first of all, let's see. Oh, I will need those. Okay, I need to get more rocks after that, but, uh, here's a pal sphere. Can I make more than one? I can make two. Uh... Okay, yes, I do have to hit X. Alright, I should probably... Oh, maybe I can make a club without, uh... God! <laughs> Making a club to bludgeon these things. That makes me feel strange. And it takes slightly longer. Which is weird, because you think the other thing would take more, uh, more time being a complicated device and not just a stick. Oh, I got more technology points for leveling up. I see. Yes, I missed that the first time. Oh, no, it was over here. Oh, let me see. Uh, pfft. Work speed! Sure. <laughs> it's kind of flying by the seat of my pants here. It's entirely possible this character will be erased at some point for, uh, like, updates and such. Take off. Uh, 
Oh, I didn't actually take the club. How embarrassing. Yes, excellent. I can make myself a pickaxe. And it appears on my back. I like that. Okay, what level is this chicken? This little chicken is level three. I have no idea how that compares to me, because I'm a person and do not have a level. Let's try going after this lamb ball. What's her name? Um. Oh. I'm sorry. I missed. I'm not close enough. Uh. What? Achievement unlocked. Beginning of the legend. Caught first foul. Oh. I think something just got added to, uh... Whatever they call the not Pokedex. There, I said it. Uh... Pal deck. Lamb ball. Walk up a hill tends to end with this pal tumbling back down. This causes it to become dizzy and unable to move, making it easy to capture and kill. As a result, this pal has tumbled down to the very bottom of the food chain itself. Aww. Possible drops of lamb ball mutton. Oh, these are gonna be all, of course, these are gonna be all the animals. It's not like in Pokemon. Where there's, oh, there's fish and beef. And we're not going to talk about where those things come from. That's actually gonna be a quest to eat food. Interesting, how do I switch weapons? Oh, I see. No, I don't. Oh, that's him. Nice. So let me get this straight. I made myself essentially a bench out of wood. You know, it doesn't have a forge in it or anything. And on the... Oh! That one did not like me attacking the other one, I think. I should go over there for a bit. That's what that music is doing. <laughs> I was being attacked and didn't realize it. That's kind of funny. What? There's nothing new in here. Oh, in there. Uh, more wood, amusingly enough. Even when I had shitloads of that earlier. Oh, that's a big one. What is this rock? Ore. I need more than my stamina bar will allow. Yep, I have to wait for a moment. Oh, I suppose I should just do that quest to eat food now and see if another objective pops up. Let's eat raw- oh, wait. WAIT! I caught that one! Why did it drop mutton anyway?! Oh god, are they cannibals? Did it just have that? Oh, that could get real complicated if the, uh, the pals have individual hunger levels. Oh my god. That one's still pissed. Oh, man. No. Yeah. Fine. You want to come along? You can come along. Oh, hitch. He just immediately got caught. You won't be able to effectively use pals at a higher level than you. Their abilities will be lowered to match those of your character's level. Right, yes, I am at level 3, because apparently people do have levels in this universe. Actually, I heard you can catch other players in your, uh... uh Pokeballs. Pal spheres, yes, that's what it is. I should craft some more of those. Oh, 
find some wood over here. Access the PAL box and summon a PAL to your base. Build a PAL box in an open space. The surrounding area will become your base. That's funny. Oh, I did the, uh, the level up thing before it told me to, so it didn't count. Sure, 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 sure. Video games. Oh, I see. Production and PAL. There's a different menus up at the top. I also see food, storage, infrastructure, lighting. What is that? Foundations, uh, defenses, other, and furniture. Why is other not the last one? I'll just stick this over. No? Out in the open, I guess. Fine. Over here. Uh, maybe not. Whammer. Oh, right, fuck. Ahem! <coughs> Embarrassing. Uh. Yeah, that's a computer, all right. And you can, in fact, see through the screen. More stamina for digging. Excellent. Ore becomes an ingot when refined using a furnace. It can be found in caves and other places. There are rumors of pals capable of detecting ore. Can I do anything with these yet? No, I can just move them around in my inventory. Oh, that's going to go bad in four minutes. That's what that is. If that's the case, I should make a campfire and cook it. That'll hold it off for a bit. It's not there. Where was that? Where was campfire at? I saw that, didn't I? Did I? Oh, I have to study that. Campfire! Used to make simple food or provide meager warmth and light over here by the computer to juxtapose the level of technology we're working with here. After five land balls and earn an EXP bonus, increase your player level by capturing 30 pals. Uh, campfire for food. Uh, fuck, more wood. Oh, and the sun's going down. I hate that. Some wood here. Hey, you know what I really should make is a torch. Can I make that yet? Put the harmful weapon away. Oh, uh, other one, other one. Why did I put them so far apart? I can learn to be better at that. My first day. Hurry, 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 hurry. I wonder if this will keep me warm. I mean, probably not. I'd have to hold it so close it would burn my chest hairs. There we go. And because it's a crafting game, I assume that won't last forever. Oh, there's the timer. What is that? Hello, glowing green object. Hello. Oh, this must be the line for my base. Looks like a jade statuette of... Well, I'm assuming that's a kind of pal. It looks like a squirrel. Lift monk effigy. Collect lift monk effigy and offer them a statue of power to improve your ability to capture pals. Access the pal box and summon a pal to your face. I can do that before we call it... Uh, oh, I know. Uh, since you were the one who was, uh, protecting your friend, you can protect the base. Hello. Automatically search for jobs they are capable of doing. Pals without beds will get stressed. How do you... Hmm. There's so much to do. Ah. Uh. Excuse me. 
Oh, no, that was, uh, this way. Over here, by this rock, I guess. God damn it, me. Lamb ball kebab. Spiced and roasted mutton, deeply complex, with unique flavors. And I got 20 minutes until it goes bad, because I guess food still does that. Sure! <coughs> Let's just, uh... Oh, boy. That is a lot of scrolling! Electric heaters. Unknown items. Mounted missile launcher! Cold-resistant PAL metal armor. <laughs> oh my god. Weapon assembly line. Needs electricity, produces weapons and ammunition at an even faster pace. Requires pal with handiwork trade. Oh my god. There is so much to do in this. Probably gonna need help if I actually turn this into a series. Does seem like the sort of game you're supposed to play with other people. Where's beds? Uh, oh, there's a bed. And a shoddy bed for me. <coughs> what? Oh, fiber. Where the fuck do I get fiber? Well, I guess we can work that out next time. I'm Burning Dog Face. And this has been our first look at, uh, Pal World. Tune in next time when you find out who the fuck that is, and, uh, continue our ridiculous adventure. Till then, later. <laughs>